What's going on guys? It's Mike for Sim Racing 604 and this very nondescript black box hopefully houses my new Sim Experience steering wheel. It's an absolute steal at $80. So I'm anxious to get this open and see exactly what you get for an $80 Sim Racing steering wheel. So let's go ahead and get into it. So before we actually get this open guys, just a quick bit of backstory on why I bought this Sim Experience wheel. So I had actually been looking to upgrade the wheel, uh, th this AccuForce wheel for quite a while. I've been so happy with the wheelbase and I have nothing but good things to say about the AccuForce. The only thing that was bugging me about this system was actually a technical detail that has to do with my weird dimensions. I'm abnormally tall and uh, just the way this rig fits me is this thing ends up, the top part of the steering wheel ends up in my line of sight. So when I'm looking, when I'm in cockpit cam and I'm looking at the screen, part of the uh, onboard LCD is blocked out. So really annoying. So I've been looking to upgrade that and I looked at a bunch of wheels, but they all had the top part of the steering wheel. Finally, I found the turn racing wheel and I saw Chris Hayes awesome review of that wheel and I was sold and it looked great and I had reached out to turn racing and I found out that, uh, you know, the, the cost of it to ship to Canada, I found that it would fit my AccuForce. Everything was looking great. And then just before I was about to pull the trigger, um, I saw Sim Experience. They, they made a just a pretty... Uh, unceremonious tweet about this $80 wheel and at one third the price I, I'm certain there's a quality difference between the turn racing and the sim experience but at one third the price I, I just couldn't justify uh, uh, spending the money for the turn racing so I now have two days later three days later whatever it is uh, like I said this nondescript black box and we'll start with that um, if I had any sort of uh, criticisms for the packaging it would start with this box I think it looks not good. You guys can see that it's uh, it's just black, it's boring. The other side just has a bunch of shipping labels on it. So uh, it'd be great if Sim, Sim Experience could put a real label on it. But uh, let's go ahead and get this guy open. Hopefully I'll leave this video with all of my fingers. So up top, uh, three, it's like three bolts and uh, a couple of barrels, three barrels and three locking washers. That's interesting. Put those to the side for now. And ta-da, there it is. So it has the AccuForce logo in the middle. Uh, the same obviously is here. This is uh, the original wheel, 320 or 330 mil, I can't remember. Um, but this one is uh, just slightly smaller. You guys can't see that, but uh, um, it's just to the inside. You can fit uh, your finger in there. So let's say that's what, 20 mil? So uh, I would have to look up the exact diameter. But anyway, end of the day, it's a little bit smaller. Um, looks like it's got three of the bolts just thread it in with some nuts just for the sake of, I guess that's for mounting in a three bolt pattern. Uh, the outside, this one is Alcantara. This one is Duramold, so it's straight up plastic. It feels quite slippery. I'm not really excited about the finish of that wheel. Um, feels strong. I can't twist that. I'm a reasonably big guy and I can't twist that at all. So uh, nice and strong in the middle at least. Uh, but again, this is just uh, really slippery, so uh, not necessarily blown away by that. But, uh, you know, if you're racing with gloves, then you should be good to go. But uh, overall, it's, it's cool looking and it's exactly what I was looking for. So it has the top part cut away and uh, the bottom is flat. So it just frees up a bit of space and it's obviously a much more uh, GT style racing wheel. So uh, pretty cool looking, pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, get this wheel off and uh, then get this thing mounted. All right, so just gotta get these undone. 
Uh, by the way, I just used their quick release system so it was nothing to get the wheel off. Normally I'd be doing this on a bench, but uh, no time for that tonight, unfortunately. There's probably a proper torque setting for these bolts, but for as much as I sim race, I'm sure it's fine. So what I'm seeing here, guys, is uh, it looks like a similar situation where they have dummy washers, or dummy bolts, rather. So one, two, three. So I believe if I take these guys out, they should all have lock washers and barrels. Barrels are uh, buried deep inside. There's two. And the third. So if I'm not mistaken, that should just come right off. And it does. There are, uh, let's see, can we get that? So hopefully you guys can see that. Uh, but inside, uh, there's a a red lead and a black lead. Uh, oh, I see, because this is a button. The centerpiece is a button, that's why. Okay, so is that a positive and a negative, or does it matter? Shouldn't matter, I wouldn't think. So the black is on the bottom, okay. That lead is really stiff, so I shouldn't have backed those off. So before I put this away, I'm going to just hand tighten these bolts. And that's interesting. I always thought that uh, there were six bolts holding this wheel, but it's in fact three. All right, so there it is, out of there. And again, very nice wheel. I had no issues with this wheel whatsoever. The Alcantara, I rarely ever use gloves, and uh, it's lasted really nicely. It's starting to show some wear, but nothing too, too bad. But all in all, a, a very nice wheel. Re highly recommend this AccuForce. And let's go ahead and get the new one mounted. So, yeah, I don't think it matters. I don't think the polarity matters, but I can always reverse it if it does. Uh, and of course, is it a different size lead? Or does it matter? It matters, and only one of them fits. Okay, perfect. That makes things easy. All right. I believe I've done that right, but anyway. I'm sure I can live without a horn. Oops. How about I mount this totally upside down? You see why I'm not the next Barry Roland? Almost mounted my wheel entirely upside down. get all this to line up. Is that in properly? It doesn't seem to be sitting properly. Aha, that, okay, so these leads, in case you buy one of these wheels, these leads need to be turned the proper way. I don't think they could touch even if you wanted to, so it should be safe. And that looks like a better fit there. We're snug all around. Yeah, we're snug all around. So I'm going to go ahead and get these bolts tightened. And there we have it. So hopefully you guys can see that. Okay, turn on one more light here. Ooh. Ah, okay. So can you guys see that? Yeah, looks really nice actually. Obviously the fit is perfect. Uh, the, the button clusters 
sit nicely inside that wheel and I'll try and get a better picture of it for you guys. I don't know if you can see it on the video, uh, but it's a nice assembly. Feels good. Uh, I think it looks really, really nice. Again, not happy with the finish, but uh, for $80, what do you expect? And uh, probably just gonna glove up to uh, drive with this, but uh, yeah, should be good to go. Should be ready to just snap on here and plug in. And there we go, just like that. And now, haha, -ha, I can see right to the bottom of my screen. That's awesome. Feels so much smaller, of course, but uh, yeah, I like it. I like it. Looks cool. All right. Well, that was it. Pretty simple assembly. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, jump into a sim and uh, test this out. Let's go. All right, guys. So, here in Assetto Corsa Competizione, with the new wheel, obviously. And you notice I'm doing this without gloves. I did want to try it out. And really, it's not that bad. I've got my thumbs, whoops, hooked over the wheel here. So the grip on the wheel doesn't necessarily come from the friction of your hand. It kind of comes from the positioning of the hand. And it feels really cool, I gotta admit. The vision, the vision is so great. I love this. And I've heard that uh, you can catch oversteer better with a smaller diameter wheel, but I'm not sure if there's any truth to that. So very nice. I gotta say for $80, I'm more than impressed. I think it would be cool if Accu4, excuse me, if uh, Sim Experience offered maybe a, you know, higher up version that did include the Alcantara finish. But for $80, guys, this is definitely a great add-on. And quite frankly, I think with the future Accu4 shipments, maybe they could include you know, for $50 more, you get this wheel, or perhaps you can get your Accu4 set up, your Pro V2 shipped with this wheel instead of the uh, standard round wheel. Yep, it's very nice, guys. You're gonna be seeing a lot of this in future videos. Uh, very happy with my $80 purchase, definitely. I mean, are there better feeling wheels in terms of the finish. Yeah, absolutely there are. In fact, the one I'm moving on from feels better, but uh, for 80 bucks, I mean, I think the design is beautiful. It obviously is perfect for this AccuForce and uh, glad with my purchase. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, links to purchase this if you want are uh, in the description. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.